The goal of this video is to apply the notion of tangent slope to the curve y equals x squared. So we'll start with a modest question. We want to find the slope of the line tangent to the graph of y equals x squared at x equals 2. If we drew a picture of the tangent line, we'd be asking what is the slope of that line? Another way to say this is we're trying to find the tangent slope of y equals x squared at x equals 2. So what's the strategy for the solution to this problem? To find the tangent slope at x equals 2, we will calculate the secant slope over an interval with endpoints at 2 and some other argument x, and then we'll find the limit of the secant slope as x approaches 2. So we find the slope by taking the change in function value, which would be x squared minus 4, and the change in argument, which would be x minus 2. So the secant slope is this quotient right here. And now we need to take the limiting value of this as x approaches 2. So we want the limit of this as x approaches 2. This is an indeterminate form. The limit of both the numerator and the denominator is 0. So we're going to have to do some work, some algebra. We can factor the numerator. And these factors of x minus 2 cancel. And so this limiting value is 4. And there's our answer. Apparently, the tangent slope is 4. Let's just do a graphical check to see if this is plausible. Here's a graph of y equals x squared, pretty much to scale. And we'll notice that at the argument 2, if we were to draw a line through that point, 2 comma 4, with slope 4, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's a plausible result that the tangent slope really is 4. Nothing about this calculation really depends on the fact that we're looking at the argument 2. In other words, we could have just as well called this argument a instead of 2. And really, nothing changes. Yes, we have to use different arguments and values, but the process is exactly the same. The difference in function value is x squared minus a squared. The difference in argument is x minus a. So the secant slope looks like this, and now we will be looking at the limit as x approaches a. Once again, this is an indeterminate form, but the algebra is pretty easy. And once we cancel out these factors, we can simply substitute a to find our limit. It's 2a. So let's see what this does for us. The tangent slope of y equals x squared at x equals a is equal to 2a. So for example, What's the tangent slope when x is 1? Well, twice 1 is 2. So we expect that tangent slope to be 2. How about the tangent slope when the argument's negative 1? Twice negative 1 is negative 2, which again appears to be plausible. Twice 0 is 0, so the tangent slope at 0 is 0. The tangent slope at 5 halves is equal to 5. And you can apply this for any argument. It doesn't have to be a quote-unquote nice argument. So what about root 3? Double root 3, you get 2 root 3. So the tangent slope should be 2 root 3. Now let's do some calculations here. We notice that square root of 3 is about 1.7. So twice that is about 3.464. And you can see from the graph that these quantities all seem to square nicely. And it looks plausible that the tangent slope at square root of 3 is twice square root of 3. So let's ask some more sophisticated questions. Let's first of all find the equation of the line tangent to y equals x squared at x equals 3 halves. So at 3 halves we have some tangent line and we want to find the equation of this line. We notice first of all that the function value is 9 quarters at x equals 3 halves. So one point on the line we're looking for is 3 halves comma 9 quarters. All we need now is the slope, which is the tangent slope. But we've just seen that the tangent slope at x is twice x. So when x equals 3 halves, we're talking about a tangent slope of 3. Now we can use point slope form. We plug in the x coordinate and the y coordinate of the point known to be on the line and the slope. And there is our equation of the tangent line. 
Here's an interesting problem. A line L is tangent to the graph of y equals x squared and is also parallel to the line 8x plus 3y equals 24. Our job is to find the equation of L. So first, let's think about the line 8x plus 3y equals 24. We know by setting y equal to 0 and solving for x and then x equal to 0 and solving for y, we know the intercepts are 3 and 8. So this line goes through these two points and looks something like this. We should ask the question, what is the slope of 8x plus 3y equals 24? If you do a little bit of simple algebra, you find out that the slope is negative 8 thirds. So the slope of this purple line is negative 8 thirds. And what we want to do is to find L. What does L look like? It's parallel to this line, but it's tangent to the parabola. So we should be looking out here somewhere to find L. The question is, what are the coordinates of this point? So the way we could ask this question is, where is the tangent slope equal to negative 8 thirds? In other words, for what x is it true that 2x is equal to negative 8 thirds? Why 2x? 2x is twice x. That's the tangent slope at x. So we want to solve the equation 2x equals negative 8 thirds. But that's just negative 4 thirds. So this argument we're looking for is negative 4 thirds. And therefore, when we square negative 4 thirds, we get 16 ninths. The point of tangency is the point negative 4 thirds comma 16 ninths. We've got our point, And of course, we have our slope. We already knew that the slope we're looking for had to be negative 8 thirds. And so we can just apply point-slope form to write down the equation of L instantly.